What I remember about the rise of the Empire is, is how quiet it was. During the waning hours of the Clone Wars, the 501st Legion was discreetly transferred back to Coruscant. It was a silent trip. We all knew what was about to happen, what we're about to do. Did we have any doubts? Any private, traitorous thoughts? Perhaps, but no one said a word. Not on the flight to Coruscant, not when Order 66 came down, and not when we marched into the Jedi Temple. Not a word. Tonight, the fall of the Jedi is at hand. We have been directed by the highest authority to wipe out the insurgent Jedi Order that threatens our great empire. Our first objective is to capture the Council Chamber. Lord Vader will be our field commander. Let's keep the Jedi low and move out. hollow box and direct defiance of command. Stop them. On the side. Stop the destruction of the Jedi hollow box. If you can keep at least one of the bookcases intact for at least two minutes, command can scan the contents of the library. objectives are a pair of holocrons, rumored to contain the sum of sin and Jedi knowledge. The first one is located on the comm room. Retrieve it and bring it to the veranda.
near the star chamber. You must defeat this Jedi and bring this hologram to the veranda drop-off point. Take out that turret. secured, we can deal with the remainder of the Jedi here. Execute the three Jedi Masters, who have poisoned the minds of their impressionable students against the Empire. Let them bear witness to the cost of rebellion. The fall of Coruscant and the elimination of the traitorous Jedi, Palpatine's rise to power was complete. In recognition of our service and loyalty to the Emperor, the 501st were placed under the direct command of Lord Vader. Armed with deadly new weapons, blazing new ships and shiny new armor, our presence let the galaxy know that the days of the Old Republic were well and truly over. We were establishing a new era an era of order and peace.